Okay, we're going to do a short section on static analysis here, which is a different kind of testing. And the reason we're going to add this short section here is it will just prepare us for when we go on to the Laravel and the Symphony sections because we'll use static analysis in those repos. So here, I'm going to explain what it is and also we're going to use the most popular uh, currently uh, static analysis tool in PHP and that's PHP Stan. So first of all, what is static analysis? So if you think of languages like Java or Go or Rust, they are compiled languages, i.e. before you use them, before you run them, a compiler compiles them. And part of that compilation process is to check that everything would actually work. So it makes sure that there's no calls to methods which don't exist, make sure that wrong types aren't being passed into functions, and all these things which in PHP you would only actually get to find out when you run the code. Well, not anymore, because we have tools like PHP Stan, which can analyze your code before you run it and find these little problems and report them to you. And so that's what we're going to do here. This one's just going to be about installation. So I thought this one would require a video really for installing things and making sure they're up and running. It's best to have that visual and also that explanation. So let's go ahead and install this. So we're going to say composer require we're going to require this as a dev dependency and we'll say php stand let's make this a little bit bigger so you can read it composer require again dev dependency we only need this in development we don't need this in production php stand forward slash php stand and this should go and get me the latest version at the time of recording Okay, so it's now telling me that we have version at least 2.1 of PHP Stan. So the next thing we're going to do before we uh, run this is we're just going to add some configuration. You don't need to add the configuration file to actually run it. You can run it without, but um, I thought we'd just add that first. So for config in PHP Stan, whereas in PHP unit, we had a PHP unit XML. In PHP stan, we have something called a PHP stan.neon file, and really it just looks like a YAML. And so this is what our file is going to look like. So we have a top key of parameters, and then we're setting this to level five. We'll talk about levels in the next one. And then we have paths, and we're basically saying just do your analysis on the source folder so what that means is when we ask php stand to do an analysis that is the only folder which it will look in okay and so we don't have any coloring here there are extensions for this but what i tend to do in php storm because it looks so similar to yaml is i say override file type and i look for yaml and it basically just styles it or colors it like a YAML file and just makes it a little bit easier to read. Okay, next we want to run this. Now at the moment, I suspect we're not gonna see any errors. So let's go and introduce one deliberately. If we go to the user registration service here where we say notify user, just gonna copy that line, comment out the original, change this to notify, my IDE is giving me a squiggly line to tell me that we're calling a undefined method anyway, but we're going to let PHP stand let us know that. Okay, and now to run PHP stand, now that it's installed, we can run it with this. Vendor bin PHP stand analyze, analyze spelt with an S there and not a Z. So I'll just make sure you get that right. Let's run this. It's doing its analysis and it's telling me that it's found one error inside the user registration service and it's saying we are calling an undefined method notify. It's letting us know that that is a not found method. So it's telling us there is one error in our code when it performs its analysis. Okay, but I'm gonna revert that to back how it was. I'm gonna show you something else. So I've covered uh, composer scripts in other courses but we'll get used to using them here as well. I use these a lot and uh, the guys that I work with, we use these a lot and it just means that when we're running 
our commands, we have nice little helpers which make sure that we're all running the same commands and running things at the same levels, etc. And in fact, I don't need to add it because I've left it in from uh, previously when I was just testing this out. So I've added a scripts key at the bottom of my composer JSON. And I have this PHP stan key, and that is going to run this command, PHP stan analyze. And so instead of needing vendor bin PHP stan here, because this is in my composer JSON, when I run composer PHP stan, it will be able to figure out that that's what it needs to do. And as you can see there, when I hover over this, it's pointing to a path vendor bin PHP stan. Okay, so what this means is, Instead of running what I did previously, I can just say composer php stan and there it's gone and run php stan. Ignore all these uh, deprecations for the time being. I'll figure out how to silence these. They're a bit of a pain. But all you need to know is that it's run php stan and it's found no errors.